So today I want to talk about parachuting in PUBG and how you can land faster. There's really three different types of parachuting. You've got the smallest map, Karakin, you've got Sandhawk, which has a slightly faster plane, and then you've got the three big maps, Erangel, Miramar, and Tego, all of which have identical speed planes with the exception of Tego's special crashing plane. So on the three big maps, you want to shoot for about 500 meters away, about 450 to 500 meters away from your target. And then you want to dive at about 200 to 215 uh, kilometers an hour. Uh, so what you're looking to do is to be about 110, 120 meters away from what you're trying to land on and still have enough time to dive to hit about 230 uh, kilometers an hour to be as low as possible. On Sandhawk, because the plane is so much slower, you want to shoot for about 1.1 kilometers away from what you're trying to drop on, and then jump. And then you want to dive uh, basically horizontally until you reach 110, 120 meters from what you're trying to land on, and then dive straight down vertically. On Karakin, you also want to shoot for a 500 meter total flight distance. However, you want to go straight horizontally due to how slow the plane is. So jump out at 500 meters, glide straight horizontally, get to about 110, 120 meters away from your target, and then dive straight down. So on the Tego exploding plane, you want to jump as close to your target as possible. The more time spent in the airplane, the better, because the airplane is so much faster than your character flying when it's exploding. So you want to dive at about 210-ish kilometers an hour uh, until you're about 110, 120 meters away from your target, and then dive straight down. So in general, on the big maps, you're shooting for a distance that will let you dive for 200 kilometers an hour for the whole way until you dive straight down at the end. Um, this varies a little bit drop spot to drop spot. For instance, if you're over a cliff, your parachute's going to open up higher. This has a larger effect really than anything else you'll do in your parachute. So the thing is that there's really no 100% set in stone measure out exactly this distance method anymore. With the wave method not being the best method anymore, there really is no objectively best way to parachute. The big thing is just making sure that you are able to dive as long as possible and being cognizant of what you're going to open your chute over. So if you're going to open your chute over a cliff or something, you need to make a conscious effort to dive a little bit sooner or a little bit later to try to minimize the height at which you're at when your chute opens. So when you're diving, you want to keep your head lined up roughly with what you're trying to land on, a little bit in front of what you're trying to land on. This is the easiest way to make sure that you're diving around 200 plus kilometers an hour, but still have time to dive straight down at the end of your parachute. So this is why I say that it varies a little bit map to map, and you, and you really just have to practice this a lot. This is definitely one of the trickier things in PUBG. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just put them down below. Uh, subscribe if you want some more short tips and tricks videos. Thank you.